Hello! This is James and skill farming will consume your life, especially if you're a content creator. It's an unfortunate reality that, like, I actually don't have a solution because my proposed solution was to have that you can if, give the option to buy the skill. Five bucks for the skill. Most people won't do it. Other people will. Konami makes some money. Content creators get the skill first. But then, you know, you can't, it's it's impossible to beat, like, DK or Playmaker to the deck. And then everybody's going to say, you made, you copied the deck off of DK and Playmaker. Even though there's only, like, you know, four ideas at any one time in Duel Links. Hello, Henry. Hello, Ben. Hello, Callum. Hello, Mamisaki. Hello, Bleskobar. Hello, Watt007. Hello, Xavier. Say, chat, we have an honored guest. Be kind to Watt. Hello, Luis. Hello, Alex Paul. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Christian Cooper. No! Don't make suicide decks. They make you hate the game. Anyway. I grinded for skills so hard that I got COG accidentally. So, when I when I wanted to make my Sartorius uh, skill farming deck, so what I noticed was it was taking me like you know, eight minutes, eight to ten minutes for a successful farm, but with ancient gears, even without the ancient gear castle, you can just uh, bang out a win, get two rewards in like a minute and a half. So you're, you're saving time, and I have no proof of this, but I, I would feel like the skill drops would be better in PvP, right? Because that's that's the more difficult thing to win at. That's the thing that they want you to actually do is to is to grind out on the ladder and provide Konami's customers with opponents. So, this is the deck that I built, and I went into just a simply a winning trance, a trance of crushing, with the next most oppressive OTK deck on the ladder. But the reason I and like. I look, I had the I had Netflix on. I was watching Ant-Man and the Wasp, not because I wanted to watch that movie, but just because it's colorful and benign and I needed something to just soothe my irritation. I'm um, like, God, why can't I just have the skill? Look at this. I have every other skill. I have every single Okay, well, you can't see it here. But you you I have every single other skill on Sartorius except for the one that I want, except for the one that everyone wants so that we can make uh, busted coin flip deck videos. It's upsetting. I guess I'm paying for my good luck with the with the last mini box opening. Anyway, uh, this deck is Ancient Gears, and but what, what makes it completely brainless, lets you get cog accidentally. Again, you don't apparently you don't even need the 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 crowler skill. You just need life point boost alpha and actually the Crowler skill is a little bit of a liability in the in the mirror match, um, because you know you you both get the boost, but then you know I'm able to use my skill slot to give me a little bit of an edge to, to let me survive, uh, you know, uh, an ancient gear plus a, a ancient gear wyvern reactor dragon. I wish I could say it was a meta choice, but it's not. Light point boost alpha is just the most useful skill I had when I began my skill. Farming Odyssey. Anyway, so I was watching Ant-Man and the Wasp, and just just as Paul Rudd finished being attractive and charming, uh, I faced the Luna. I won the match. I clicked through to see the, the, what skills I didn't get, and and then the King of Games screen just popped up. So there it is. So that's the story of March. King of Games, uh, let's talk about this deck. Let's uh, let's show some replays. This may or may not make it into a video. <laughs> All right, so let's just strip out the the extra the extra stuff here. All right, so here's here here's our ancient gears. We have our three of our searcher essential, three of our other searcher essential, and then ancient gear fortress. I want you to think of this as basically Hey Trunade. I don't know if I'm copying that phrasing off of DK. I hope not. But basically, since Ancient Gears, you know, they're immune to the attack declaration traps, and then for one turn, they can't be targeted by card effects, and they can't be destroyed by card effects. So that's 
That's your hate grenade, ancient your fortress. Whenever you can avoid, whenever you can keep this on the field, do so, but, but don't let it hold you back from uh, your Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. Next, we will add in the removal. So the, the removal I went with was uh, one Galaxy Cyclone, two Double Cyclone, and then two D-Spell. Ideally, you have three Galaxy Cyclone, because Galaxy Cyclone, it's a money card. It gives you efficiency, Galaxy Cyclone. You can destroy your Gear Town. Gear Town can miss timing, and then, you know, you can draw another Gear Town, and then you don't have to draw another removal card, you can just use the Galaxy Cyclone that's in your graveyard. But I replaced uh, two Galaxy Cyclone with two D-Spell, and D-Spell actually has application, because Galaxy Cyclone, from your hand, it can only destroy a face-down trap well. If you're playing Ancient Gear Wyvern to search the fortress so that you can destroy it, you're out of luck with Galaxy Cyclone, and D-Spell actually works in that case. But Galaxy Cyclone is much more efficient. Uh, and then we're doing two of the Double Cyclone, because the opponent doesn't always have back row. Um, so, our, our, we want to do, do the more efficient removal, and then go for, the, go for the glitzy double removal, you know, only when necessary. Uh, we're going to do one Planet Pathfinder for basically the same reason. Uh, right now, there's a lot of stuff that, that can destroy Gear Town. You play Gear Town, you play this, and then they chain Bad Aim, they chain Survival's End, they chain Cosmic Cyclone, their own Double Cyclone to Gear Town. Gear Town destroyed a Chain Link 2. Misses timing, and so that's why we're only running the four, the four Gear Towns. And our final three slots go to Big Time Meta Tech. Skullmeister. Skullmeister touches every single deck. It blocks Gear Town in the graveyard. It blocks Ubel in the graveyard. It blocks Survival's End from banishing in the graveyard. It blocks Vampires from summoning their little guys for the like the entire turn. It blocks Diamond Core banishing. That's not huge against Koakai's, but Skullmeister touches every single relevant deck that you're gonna face, and Skullmeister is basically uh, I was going to use enemy controller. I was going to use enemy controller to take the Ubels and deal with them, but that is uh, unreliable, you know, two for one removal of the Ubel, and you still have to give up your monster and you have to give the Ubel back. Uh, the disadvantage of Skullmeister is you have to draw it before they get out the Ubel, and so that's why we're running three, because we want to make sure that we get rid of Ubel, and with Skullmeister, the Ubel matchup is not a problem. Otherwise, it's a nightmare, huh? For Ancient Gears, but with Skullmeister, not an issue. And if you don't have Skullmeister, you can replace his efficacy in the case of Silent Waifu, Ubel, but not Dinos, with Debunk. When a monster effect is activated in the hand or graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do banish it, as a side effect of hitting Karibos. But definitely uh, review all of your super rare tickets for Skullmeister, and uh, I'll let you guys know the next time you see a Skullmeister available. Definitely get this card. James, what do you think of the new main box? I think you better have your six samurais uh, of old. Thank you, Bob Rose. Hello, Martin Doan. And. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody's hellos? If I missed your hello and you would like a hello, please hello me. Uh, let's just take a look at these real quick. Hello, Dylan Conley. Hello, Chaser7. Hello, Dutch. Hello, Andrej. Hello, Hip to Trime Travel. Hello, Ancient. Hello, Pablo Mojica. Hello, Shin Ryuken. All right, so here's Life Point Boost Alpha. Again, I was just trying to grind out some skills. I wasn't trying to win. I was just trying to bang out some hit... Some quick wins. I assumed I'd stay at Legend 1. But evidently, I did not. There's the value with the Gear Town off of the Galaxy Cyclone. We summon the Reactor Dragon in defense position. Offerings to the Doomed! Aster! Wait, is this one that I lost? Aster, how dare you! Uh, but Galaxy Cyclone gives us the value. Uh, the what I earn is going to give us another uh, gear fortress, and then so we destroy one with the galaxy cyclone. But we still have our ancient gear true nade on the field, and that means that even if he has his second offerings, uh, he can't hit it with hit us with it this turn. 
There's the second offerings. We played that perfectly. Now we just need not. Oh, and one more thing about Skullmeister. He's 1700. He's bigger than Destiny heroes. And if your decide, if your opponent tries to get cheeky with Decider, you can just normal summon him and attack over the Decider. So he's he's great. Skullmeister, fantastic choice. Here's the D spell for. Danging your fortress for the return of the reactor dragon, but we're gonna attack with Skullmeister. Just a little, just a little bit of BM. I learned from the BM from the last video. Hello, Austin White. How do you get Skullmeister? So Skullmeister is from the old, old DD Tower Dark event. So I, I, I think that actually a lot of people don't have him, and that's why, like, I was, I've been itching to make a, a video about how amazing Skullmeister is. But I think it, it would just upset people be, that aren't able to get the card. Um, so instead, I'll make a video that is like, when Skull, when Skullmeister's available, I'll be like, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Because uh, I think he's just good in general. Because I think I was seeing, I think I saw some like TCG memes about how Skullmeister just messes up, you know, decks in general. All right, all right, we're on the brink with the vampires. Oh, but you know what? Check all your super rare tickets carefully, because I could have sworn he was in some of them. All right, Windstorm of Etiqua, Gear Town, Vampire Familiar, and the Skullmeister prevents the Vampire Grace from coming out and destroying our guy off of you know some vampire nonsense. Ooh, Skullmeister, Ancient Your Fortress, Pezzo Canadia. Uh, because our Reactor Dragon was not summoned this turn, we're gonna crash the Wyvern into the Gozuki to prevent more dumping of, of things. Here's our Reactor Dragon. And destroy the Ancient Gear Fortress, and that is lethal damage just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. By the way, when I pause before the stream, uh, when I do this, I'm I'm recording silence for the for the for the recording. So when I when I fix the so like you can't hear the fan in the audio. That's because I record the silence or the, the silence and then um, and then remove it from the sound. What event do you want to come back, James? I don't know, man. I I max farm every single event, so. Like there's, I, I just get them, get everything, and then forget about them immediately. We should. Oh man, if we could trade event cards, that'd be sick. And it wouldn't cost Konami any money, well, except for the development cost. Of, of, all right, here's vampires again. And then what, James? What, what character do you want to come in the game? Carly, obviously Carly. Yeah, two Skullmeisters, even one Skullmeister. You know, it's less consistent, uh, but it, it's better than nothing. The Tomb World event. Congratulations, Dylan Conley, for your awesome beard. All right, look at this. Look at this filter. Look at this vampires living on the edge. All right, Galaxy Cyclone. Actually destroys. My ancient gear fortress. So sometimes, you know, you wanna you wanna put out the fortress, put out the gear town, put out the feeler for the uh, maybe the opponent is dumb or not paying attention or forgot that you played ancient gears, and you get some freebies. Ba 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 I think it's a little bit early for that. Oh, and it's another Skullmeister negating the Vampire Filth. All right, do we understand his value now? He just stops your opponent from doing what they want to do. Uh, was that a Kiza? I guess we have another Sartorius. Why am I so pumped up? I'm high on life, Andrej. Christian Cooper, have you thought of running Griffin's Feather Duster in AG? Is it just... Because he gains you life points, right? Is it just strictly better than... 
No, well, sometimes you want this the D spell, like, because I've, I, I've used D spell on Golden Castle of Stromberg, for example. Uh, so, like, I, I would rather I would rather have cards that can destroy both my cards and the opponent's cards, and they're not cards that are restricted to my cards. Skullmeister, wait, hold on, hold on. Luis Rodriguez, Skullmeister, you can get it on Dual Quest and KC Cup tickets. Okay, and our final duel against Tyranno Hasselberry. Hello, Lazy Mage. Hello, Son Goku. No, you know, you know that good feeling? Like all your water bottles have filled up. You ate recently. You watched uh, the two episodes of JoJo you didn't watch yet. You get happy. Unstoppable Dino Power! Now see, alright, so this is actually not a great choice. For Tyrone Hasselberry, because this... Right, he, Unstoppable Dino Power increases the attack points. But... Uh, and here we're gonna have Skullmeister and Survival's End. But with Survival's End, you're getting rid of your monsters. So the field spell is actually the better choice over Unstoppable Dino Power, but the field spell is also a target for Double Cyclone. <sighs> so we preserve our Deer Town Destruction at Chainlink 1, and we have our What Ivern, and we have our Reactor Dodagon. I bet they'll hit Skullmeister to sell a new deck one of these days. You know, they don't really hit the event cards at all. Uh, well... Oh no, I'm, what am I saying? It's Princess. But... Skullmeister is not an archetype card. Like, he doesn't make a deck. Skullmeister's like Canadia. Skullmeister's like Canadia. He just, um, he just makes openings. He doesn't win for you. What about this one? Oh snap! Oh, what about this one? Isn't Skullmeister a woman? I think Meister indicates a man, but I might be wrong about that. And, if you're hurting for that Skullmeister right now, well, hopefully you've been hoarding your tickets from your Dual Quest Super Rares expiring December 31st. We have... Skullmeister. And, from your Choose Your Gift campaign. We have Skullmeister, and probably from the KC Cup Super Rare tickets. So, there is no excuse. Everybody, get their Skullmeister. Thank you for watching.